bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face towards you and give you peace. Lord, bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. 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 favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children in the presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with you in the morning and the evening and you're coming and you're going in your weeping and rejoicing he is for you he is for you St Barnabas family my name is Beverly Williams I've been at St Barnabas Church now for about seven months with my husband Pete we came back from Reading California and have made St Barnabas our home I'd just like to share with you today um, something that has been impacting me it's Psalm 29 verse 10 and 11 and it says the Lord sits enthroned over the flood the Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. And I really felt that it was very important today for us to think about the fact that the Lord hasn't been dethroned through this virus. He is still sat on his throne. That when there was this awful calamity over the world, when the flood hit, he was still sat on the throne in heaven. And I just feel like we should really concentrate on the fact that he is on the throne and he is over our families. He's over our finances. He's over, over our health. That we should not partner with fear or despair. That we should be full of hope in this time. I feel that verse 11 where it says, the Lord gives us gives strength to his people. We need to take that strength. We need to take that strength for each and every single one of us. 
And also it says the Lord blesses his people with peace. So today I just pray that this Psalm 29 will bless you with peace. It will bless you with strength, but it would also be a timely reminder that the Lord is still on his throne and he is looking down with us. He is in this with us. He is fighting with us. He is giving us the comforter. He has given us the Prince of Peace. So I hope that you receive that today and that you feel encouraged. God bless you.